The General Committee on Democracy, Human Rights and Humanitarian Questions of the OEC Parliamentary Assembly has made three amendments concerning Azerbaijan in the resolution adopted on June 30th following discussions at its 23rd session in Baku. According to the 39th amendment proposed by the head of the committee, Isabel Santos, from Portugal, the resolution notes that the OEC Parliamentary Assembly expresses concern about the abuse of administrative procedures and legislation for the purpose of detention, imprisonment, intimidation or forced silencing of human rights defenders in many OEC participants states. The 44th Amendment proposed by Norwegian Member Parliament Beckwald expressed deep concern about the situation of Anar Mehmetli, head of the Election Monitoring and Democracy Studies Center, representative of Azerbaijan civil society and human rights activist who was recently sentenced to imprisonment in a court case with obvious political overtones. Finally, the 45th Amendment, proposed by Habsburg Douglas from Sweden, urged the government of Azerbaijan to allow the OSC to open a regional office in Baku. The Azerbaijan parliamentarians expressed protests against these amendments, which nevertheless were adopted by majority vote. OSC Parliamentary Assembly Committee on Democracy, Human Rights and Humanitarian Questions adopted a resolution on protection of cultural property in OSC region at its July 1st session in Baku. The document was presented by Azerbaijan Member of Parliament Azai Guliyev. The resolution stresses the importance of preserving the status of monuments and places related to history and culture, regardless of their location. The draft resolution was proposed 10 amendments, of which eight by the head of the Armenian delegation, Artashel Gigamyan. Only two of the Gigamyan's amendments were approved. The draft resolution author, Guliev, had no objection towards these amendments. The 23rd session of the Parliamentary Assembly of the OSC, held in the capital of Azerbaijan, ended on July 2nd with the adoption of Baku Declaration. Along with general issues relating to the activities of the OSC, the declaration focuses on the action of Russia against Ukraine. The declaration also made a separate item with an appeal to the Azerbaijan authorities to release from prison the head of the Election Monitoring and Democracy Studies Center, Anar Mehmetli, as well as to create him and other victims of politicized course conditions to continue their advocacy work. The declaration also called upon to restore the status of the OSC office in Baku, downgraded earlier to project coordinator. On July 2nd, former businessman Eshad Mehmedov held a press conference at the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety in connection with the violation of his property rights. According to Mehmedov, in 2012, he bought two flats in a skyscraper near the officers' park in Baku. The building was constructed by a vested group of companies owned by Ibrahim Ibrahimli. But later he found out that some of the construction company's employees had sold one of the apartments to someone else without his knowledge. With the help of course, Ibrahimli then took away my second flat as well, said Mehmedov. Mehmedov also appealed to the courts, but they ruled in Ibrahimli's favor. The former businessman now intends to take the matter to the European court, where his rights will be defended by lawyer Intigam Aliyev. On July 1st, Nizami District Court of Genja City under Judge Ayaz Mahmadov held a hearing on the case of Hassan Husseinli, head of the Intelligence Sitsa Enlightenment Center. According to lawyer Elchin Sadegov, the public prosecutor requested the court to sentence Husseinli to seven years in prison. Hussein Lee is charged with stabbing his neighbor Arzu Gehramanov. Genjas, the main police office, has opened a criminal case under Article 221.3 of the Criminal Code, hooliganism committed with use of a weapon. A restraining order has been imposed on Hussein Lee, which requires him not to leave his town of residence without permission while under investigation. The Baku Court on Grave Crimes announced verdict in blogger Omer Mehmedov case on July 4, sentencing the young activist to five years in jail. Mehmedov was convicted of illegal drug dealing. Omer Mehmedov is a member of civil solidarity part and head of the Akhin Youth Movement. After his arrest, he rejoined the Dal Movement. Mehmedov was an active social networker. Notably, he was one of the admins of the Facebook page Selections from Us TV, which shared posts ridiculing and criticizing the faults of government officials. He was arrested in January of 2014 on charge of drug possession.